In this video, we're going to look at a T7 calculator shortcut. This involves percentages and it works with tips, sales tax, discounts, and more. And we have to make sure we read the question carefully though. Take this first example. The correct answer to this question is $57.60. Now the classic way that works on any calculator, if we take the $48 and we multiply it by 20%, this $9.60 represents the tip that we're going to leave. This is not the answer to our question though. The total cost of the meal, we wanna take the $48 plus the $9.60, and that's the $57.60. But that's not the shortcut. Here's the shortcut. If you're trying to find the total cost of the meal plus the tip, not every calculator will do this, but the T's calculator will, and I do find that my iPhone calculator will do it this way, but not every calculator. But all you have to do is take that $48 plus 20%. And even though I'm not the biggest fan of this, because technically this is not the true mathematical way of doing it, but notice you do get the $57.60. And what the calculator is doing when you add that 20%, it is finding 20% of that $48 in the background, I guess you could say, and it's automatically adding that on for you. Now, I did mention this also works with sales tax and discounts, so let's look at those. Now, this particular example here, it is asking you to find two different things. To find the sales tax that is owed, what you will pay in sales tax only, I still recommend just taking the price before tax and multiplying it by the sales tax rate. That's what you can see here, which is $2.80. That's how much sales tax you will pay, but then to find that total cost, including sales tax, pay the $35 plus the $2.80, the total price, including sales tax is $37.80. Now, if all we had to find was the total price, that second question in this problem, let's use that calculator shortcut again. 35 plus 8%, it takes you straight to that answer of $37.80. But again, I can't stress this enough. Make sure you are answering the question that's being asked. In this case, we had two different questions, but I do want to emphasize that. And now let's finish up with a discount problem. We have the original price, 120 bucks for a new calculator. That's those expensive graphing calculators. It's on sale for 25% off. We have two questions here. The discount is what you will save, not what you're gonna pay. And to find that discount, let's just take 120 bucks times 25%, we get $30. This is not how much you will pay, this is how much you will save. And let's be careful since we're dealing with discounts, to find the price that we will pay after the discount, we want to subtract the $30 from the 120 bucks. This will give us a price of 90 bucks. $90 is what we will pay after the discount. Now, if the only question we had was how much will you pay after the discount, we can do the calculator shortcut. 120 bucks minus the 25%. And as you can see there, it takes us straight to $90. And that's it for this video. I hope it helps.